Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up a Minecraft server on a Mac and how to use NG Rock to make this publicly available for all of your friends to play throughout the world. This is one of our first videos of 2022 and we're going to be delivering lots of exciting content on ethical hacking, penetration testing this year as well as hardware hacking. We have lots and lots of new kit from Hack5 and we've also pre-recorded lots of videos on VEX Robotics this year. We're going to be covering content on VEX GO, VEX IQ and also the VEX V5 robot. Now without further ado, let's have a look at how we can set up Minecraft or a Minecraft server on a Mac and how to host this through NG Rock. I'm just going to refer to the different links which I've got open at the moment. So we've got this Java 8 download link available for Mac. I've got this Java SE development kit version 1701 available for Mac as well, as well as the Minecraft server download link, the sign up page for NG Rock, and also temp mail as well. Now, to begin today's video, you're going to need to download the latest version of Java. I put both of these links here just in case version 17 doesn't work for you um, but just in case you do have issues with this also do try Java 8 if you're having problems once you've downloaded Minecraft and you're following the different steps which I'm demonstrating in today's video on how to set up a Minecraft server in 2022 for Mac. So first thing to download is going to be the Minecraft server 1.18.1.jar image so I'm going to download this now and once I have downloaded this, what I'm gonna do on my desktop is I'm going to set up a folder for where my Minecraft image is gonna be copied to. So I'm gonna set this up as Minecraft 2022. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy over my server.jar image into my folder. And I've now got this in here and we should near enough be ready to go as long as you have also got Java downloaded as well. Now, the first thing which we are going to want to do today is we're going to want to head over to our terminal. Now, first things first is we are going to want to go across to our terminal window so we can go to Launchpad, we can type in Terminal and it should bring us up with a window which looks something like this, maybe a different color if you set up a uh, different color scheme for your terminal window on Mac. And we just wanna check that we are using the correct version of Java before we begin today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in Java and then dash and version. And this is gonna allow us to see the version of Java which we have installed. And as I said to you, I am using the Java version 17.0.1 for today's video. Now, the next thing that we are gonna wanna do is we are gonna want to log into this Minecraft server which we have set up on our desktop. I'd recommend you put this in your documents folder or somewhere else and not on your desktop, but for the purpose of today's video, I've got my Minecraft server on my desktop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in CD and then we're gonna type in desktop. We're gonna type in LS to have a look at the files which are here. And then we're going to type in CD and then mine and then press tab to finish that line and press on enter. And we're going to type in LS to show the contents of that folder. And we'll be able to see we've got our server.jar image. Now that we are in the correct directory, what we are going to do is we're going to type in Java and we're going to do dash jar and then server.jar. Now, if you have changed the name of your image to something else, the last part of this command is going to be different, but I would strongly recommend you leave this server.jar file using the default name which we have got uh, when we've downloaded it from the Minecraft server website. Now that we've done this, we're going to press on enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to unpack our file. And what you'll be able to see here is lots of files are now starting to appear in my Minecraft 2022 file. Now this will start to install Minecraft on your Mac. 
Now, in order to continue here, we can see we've got a message at the bottom of our terminal window. So it said, fail to load the URL uh, text file, and you need to agree to the uh, different terms which have been set up in order to run this file. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to this text file, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go open with text edit. And then what we have to do here is we need to change this to true, to agree to the different terms and conditions which are being set out by this organization here. Now that we've done that, we're gonna press on file and save, and then we should be good to go. Now, there may be other things which you wanna change in your server properties file, and I don't have anything that I wanna change for my users here, but I am just gonna open up this file, you can see, you can see uh, what it looks like. So inside here, we can change things in here, like online mode, we can change it to false if we want to, but because we're setting up an online Minecraft server today and we're gonna be hosting this through NG Rock, we definitely want this set to true. And if you scroll through here, if you commonly play Minecraft, you'll be able to change things like spawn animals from true to false, or function permission uh, level from two to five. You'll be able to change lots of the uh, properties which you would normally change inside Minecraft here. So if you're wanting to change some of these properties for the users which are gonna be playing in your environment, this is the place to do that. Now, one of the reasons why we're setting up a Minecraft server here at Steam Labs is, one, my son wants to play Minecraft. He's got bored of learning vector robotics. He's just learning four in March. But the most important reason is so we can have also explore the Log4j exploit, which was introduced to kind of the cybersecurity community a few weeks ago. Now, now that we've made our changes to our eula.txt file and our server properties text file as well, we are gonna move on to the next step. For the next part of this video, what we need to do is we need to create a run.command file and put it in the directory where we can see the current Minecraft files. So in order to do that, what we want to do is open up a new text edit file and we want to press on new document. And what we need to do is we need to change the format of this file to plain text. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy and paste some text over from another file into this document here and I'll post this underneath the video in the description. And what we need to do is we need to create a run.command file which is going to launch our Minecraft server and then we're gonna have a look at how we can make this publicly available for everybody to use on your Mac or Mac Pro or Mac Mini, wherever you're kind of running this Minecraft server. So what you need to do is leave line one and two the same. And what you can do here is decide on the number of gigabytes which you're going to allocate to the Minecraft server which you have running. So if you don't want it to be lagging at all, I'd probably recommend you allocate maybe four or maybe eight gigabytes of memory. For me, I'm just allocating two gigabytes of memory because the only reason why we're setting up this is so we can look at the log 4 j exploit which was released a few weeks ago and so my, con my son can play on an environment which is controlled by me as well. Now, as I said, this is underneath the video. All you need to do is create a text edit file like this and then select on file and save. And it's really, really important here that you give it the same name as me and you also save it in your directory which we have set up for today's Minecraft server. So mine is on my desktop, mine is called Minecraft 2022. I'm going to give it the name as run.command. And it's really, really important that you follow these steps Otherwise, when we try to launch the Minecraft server using Terminal, it won't work. So hopefully, you'll be able to see this underneath the video. And once you've done this, just select on Save. And then we should be good to go, and we can then close this window. Now, in order to make this file executable, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna open up a new Terminal window. So we're gonna select on Shell, New Window, and we're just gonna say Basic Window. And we're gonna have it in the same uh, window where you can see the other uh, terminal window which opened up previously. I don't want to close that just in case I do need that for later. And then again, this next command which I'm going to type in here, I'm going to post it underneath the video. And we're going to need to use the command chmod. And we need to create or make this run.command file executable. And in order to do that, we use chmod plus x and then the name of our file which is run.command. 
Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to be in that same directory. So this here is going to fail the first time around because we're not inside the correct directory. So I'm going to do CD desktop and then CD and then Minecraft, press tab to finish the line for us, LS, and we should be able to see that file that we created called run.command. And we're now just going to press on up and then run this command again. And we now should be good to go. And we should be able to now try to launch at least our Minecraft server. The last thing that we need to do is to double click this file to set up our Minecraft server. And what you'll be able to see now is our Minecraft server is now starting to run the default setup script. So we can set up a Minecraft server on our Mac. As this command runs, you'll be able to see lots of files appearing inside our Minecraft 2022 server file and you'll be able to see this script running which is setting up our spawn area for our Minecraft environment. Now that this script is finished running in our terminal and it's set up our spawn area inside Minecraft, I've gone to Launchpad and I've opened up Minecraft which is locally set up on my Mac. And what we're going to do here is we are going to set up a multiplayer game and we're gonna select on proceed here. And we are going to set up a Minecraft server. So you can see that I have previously done this. I'm gonna delete both of these because I'm not using them for now. And once we have done this, we're gonna select on add server. And all we need to do here is type in a local host to create our server and then select on done. And now that this has been set up, all I need to do is select on join server. And this is going to allow me to go into the Minecraft environment which has been set up on my Mac. And what you'll be able to see over here inside our terminal window is Lemon Buckle 7657 Yes, that is my Minecraft game. I have just entered this environment. And what we're going to now do is move across to how we can host this through NG Rock. Now that everything's set up, what we are going to do is we're going to set up our NG Rock account. So what I'm going to do is open up temp mail ID. So I don't really want to use my Steam Labs email or my Proton now or any kind of other email that belongs to me to set up my NG Rock account. So all I'm going to do, do over here is type in my name, which is going to be a lemon buckle. And I'm going to use the email which I have copied across from temp mail ID so I can set up my NG Rock account. And we're going to set a nice secure password here. And now that we have done this, I'm gonna select on, I'm not a robot, and I may need to click for a few images. It's not actually asking me to do that at the moment. And what we will be able to see once I have signed up is that I should be able to see a mail that I'm receiving inside temp mail over here. So I can complete the setup of my NG Rock account. So I'm gonna save these credentials just for now so I can use them later. And it's saying a verification email has been sent to my email over here on temp mail. So I'm going to select on this just to verify my NG Rock account. And as I'm not wanting to hand over my details to NG Rock, I'm using this. I'm going to click on this link, and then our NG Rock account should be set up, and we should be good to go. Now, for those of you which are wondering why am I using Temp Mail, why am I not giving details of my Steam Labs mail over, or why am I not giving details of my personal Gmail or Proton Mail over to NG Rock? is because I really don't want NG Rock to have my personal details. I think this is a great way that people should be using temp mail ID if you're signing up for services like NG Rock. Once your account is confirmed, you're gonna to need to download NG Rock for Mac OS. And once it's finished downloading, probably the most important thing for today's video is that once it's been unzipped, that you place the NG Rock file into the same folder as our server image here. So now that I have unzipped this file, I'm going to drag across this ng rock file across to the Minecraft 2022 mm -hmm. server folder, and then we should be able to set up ng rock on our Mac. So Minecraft is publicly available for all of our friends to play or hack wherever they are in the world. Now, in order to finish set up NG Rock on our Mac, what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to open up a new shell window. So we're gonna to go to shell, new window, and then we need to log into that same directory where the NG Rock file is, which is in our Minecraft 2022 server folder. So I'm gonna type in the CD desktop, and then CD and Minecraft, tab to finish the line, and make sure that we can see the file. 
And now that we can see our Minecraft file here, and I'm not actually in the folder yet, so let's go on to CD Minecraft again. And here we go. Here is our ng-rock file. We're gonna need to use that chmod plus x command again in order to finish setting up the executable file which we've downloaded so we can host our Minecraft world for our friends to play throughout the world. So we're going to type in chmod plus x and then ngrock. Now in order to launch ngrock you're going to need to type in dot slash and then ngrock. So again this command is underneath the video. And once we've typed in this command you'll be able to see a few different things have appeared here. So we've got a help menu which is available. Okay. And we'll be able to set up things like auth tokens. So we're going to need to go across to our dashboard on ngrock here. And we're going to need to take our token in a minute to finish setting up our account. And you'll be able to also see there's things like help menu, update, TLS, TCP, some other options which are also available. Now the only thing which we need to do at the moment is we need to take our token from ngrock. We need to go onto our folder where we have got ngrock set up. We're going to type in dot slash ngrock and we're going to type in auth and then token. And then we're going to copy across the token which is from our account over here. Now you'll be able to see that when I type in this command up here, it's actually done this for me. So I can actually just space down and then paste this command here. And we don't actually need to type in the dot slash ng rock and auth token. This has been done for us. I'm going to press on enter now. And we'll be able to see that this configuration has now been saved. Now the last thing which we need to do here is we need to type in dot slash ng rock. What we want to do is we want to now type in TCP and then 25565 and if we press on enter here this is then going to create a link which is going to allow us to host our Minecraft server so people can play in our environment wherever they are in the world. Now one of the only disadvantages to using ngrock here and there are other ways around it and if you want to know uh, how to create a permanent link obviously do drop me a message underneath this video if we close this link for ngrock and if we close down our minecraft server this address is going to change each time we relaunch this ngrock link now if you want people to play in your minecraft environment all you need to do is copy this tcp.ngrock link of course the link will differ a little bit for you in comparison to what i am seeing here you're then going to go across to minecraft you're then going to open up multiplayer mode and instead of typing in local host here this is the address which people are going to play in if you want them to play in your minecraft environment it's really really important to obviously understand that every time you shut down ngrock and open it back up again this address is going to change, but in order for them to join your environment, these are the instructions which you do need. If you want to have a permanent address, do drop me a message underneath this video so I can explain how you can do that. I do hope this video has been clear. I do hope the, I do hope the instructions have been easy to follow, sorry. And as I said earlier in today's video, the reason why we have set up this Minecraft environment here, you can see we're going across the multiplayer, while I'm trying to demonstrate this last bit, just press on add server, and this is where they would paste that address. Now, the reason why we have set up a Minecraft tutorial today is so our students at Steam Labs who are studying hardware hacking, ethical hacking, penetration testing, so they can actually publicly exploit the log 4J exploit, which was released a few weeks ago. And also, as I said, so my son can also play in a nice safe minecraft environment as well now thanks for watching do like do subscribe to our channel and i look forward to seeing you in our next video soon